Vicky. Welcome to my channel where I make videos about Hungary. In today's video, we're going to look at two central Budapest Christmas markets. So let's get started. The first one we're going to look at is here right behind me in St. Stephen's Square in the 5th district by St. Stephen's Basilica. Okay, let's have a look around. But I'm going to put my hat on because it's actually about four degrees in Hungary today, in Budapest today. And I'm beginning to feel the cold. It's pretty, it's pretty chilly. Let's go. Let's see what this market has to offer. Okay, so first store, we have some hot chocolate and some alcohol. Hey, how you doing? How are you? You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They have strudels here. They're selling some hot food behind us. Mostly in meat and sausages and things like that. Have a closer look at that in a minute. I may be wrong, but I think this year actually there are some nicer stores. Or maybe my taste has changed. <laughs> I like some of these decorations that they have this year. Ezek nagyon szépek. Tavaly is itt voltak? Nem emlékszem Zrínyi ezekre. Utcában, Hol? A, 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 a Zrínyi utcában ilyen. Most egy kicsit egy kisebb lett a piac, nem? Vagy, vagy, vagy a vásár így, mintha... Talán ott egy picit igen, egy Aha. házal van kevesebb, de itt a térünk ugyanaz nagyjából. Nagyon cukik ezek. Köszönjük szépen. És önök készítik őket? Vagy? És hol csinálják a szülei? Nagyon szépen, ilyen nagyon hagyományosak. Köszönöm szépen. Igen. Van -e, volt, volt egyszer egy ilyenem, de hát nem pont ugyanilyen, ne, ami gyerekkoromban. Sokan hagyják egyébként ilyen gyerekkori élményeket idéztem. Igen. Nagy szülők csinálták. Igen. Ezt hallom fel a legtöbbször, hogy nagymama csinált még régen ilyen. Igen, totál, igen. Nálunk megmaradt. Another thing we're gonna check out later is these Hungarian chimney cakes, which are kind of like a, a winter tradition really, but now you can get them all year round. They're called chimney cakes. I think it's because of their shape and I think it's because they're kind of like smoking like a chimney when they're ready. Let's have a look at them. See that smoke, see how cool that is. We'll get one of those later, for sure. I can't come to a Christmas market and not get one of those. I love them. But let's continue looking around the market. <laughs> they have lots of leather and um, fur goods. See, if it's a new one. If you're going to be in front of the church, I'll go find you. I think they're kind of like air fresheners or even kind of like soap. Not sure. It's lavender anyway. This is this is the type that I prefer over here. The more Christmassy decorations or I don't know, popuris or room fresheners or whatever they're called. Well, I might just do something very strange today. I've been eyeing these up for years and years and I've never ever bought one. This year I might actually take the plunge and get one. This one is very similar, just sweeter a little bit. The, you, you feel better the, the typical vanity meat. 
uh, but, uh, but uh, with the, the same spices. We make that's why it is in black and it is the uh, like normal colors to make easily current between the two, but they are very, very similar. Just in the The switch can be a better the switch one is a One of it? Yeah. So they have some salami in the shape of a pig. And they have some of the very traditional Hungarian Christmas cakes that we have, which is kind of like a pastry um, and it's rolled and it contains either a walnut or a poppy seed filling. And it's called bagley. So we've been looking around for a while and it's time to have some lunch. They have duck <laughs> with braised cabbage, some kind of chicken stew maybe. It's a little bit past lunch time I'd say but there's quite a queue here. Uh, 5,500 that was the one. Oh, okay. Yeah, all for the separately, but one hot dog as well. Okay, one hot dog. Some kind of meat with cheese on it. I'm not familiar with this one. They have some very traditional Hungarian sausages here, and I think that's what we're going to go for, even though that's not a, a Christmas meal at all. It's not really a Christmas dish at all, but I think that's what we're going to go for. They have pork knuckles here and sort of meat kebabs, uh, various pork dishes, they have Hungarian beef stew of course. Igen, egy kolbász szeretnénk, akkor is mustár van hozzá. Igen, és mekkora a kenyér? Vagy mondani kell? Jó, aha. We're gonna get some Hungarian, traditional Hungarian sausage with some bread and mustard, which is the traditional thing to do. We're gonna get two slices of bread. You have to say how many you want. Köszönöm szépen és so that was 4,100 forints, which I put somewhere here in pounds and dollars. Nagyon szépen köszönjük! So here is a traditional Hungarian sausage. As I was saying, this is really not Christmas food, but why not? Why not? We don't really have like that much very special Christmas food anyway. I guess this would pass though. I think you would have this like at, on a, at a celebration or um, at the weekend maybe. Let's try it. Should we sit there? Okay, so let's try it. They've given us some disposable cutlery. It's bio-compostable. I'd say that's a huge improvement on previous years where, when they used to have really horrible plastic non-recyclable um, cutlery. So I'm quite happy with that. So it's super traditional to have this kind of, I don't know, mild mustard um, with Hungarian sausages, these fried sausages or I don't know what they are, fried sausages I guess. This is super traditional and they do give quite a lot of it but that is completely normal and I think you'll find that you will actually eat it all or most of it anyway. So the people next to us, they don't know that you're meant to order mustard with your sausages, but now you know. That was delicious, but let's get a drink now. Walking around for a couple of hours in four degrees though is pretty warm, so I recommend that you dress warm. One of the ways to warm up a little bit though is to have a hot chocolate, so let's do that. So we're just queuing to get some hot chocolate. There's some mulled wine here as well, but we'll get some of that later. Big 
köszönöm szépen, és It's pretty sweet, actually. I prefer my hot chocolate to be a bit darker than this, but nonetheless, it's very warm. Here they're selling some Hungarian langos behind me, which once again is not really not a Christmas food, but more like a market food. Uh, but again, why not? One, one warm. In that sugar. Don't have. Here yeah, they're selling a different type of chimney cake, these kind of little cones which are filled with chocolate. Call me a traditionalist, but I say no. Don't try that if you want to try something very authentic Hungarian at these Christmas markets. Go for the one I'm going to try in a minute. Walking around that this market is proper hard work, so let's go and get some chimney cake. There are different flavors you can get. My favorite one is the walnut one, so we'll probably have that. You can get plain one. They do have some of the more slightly more unusual flavors here. They have poppy seed, they have coconut, they have cocoa. Um, maybe vanilla is not that traditional either. And here we can see a lady making it. The little display kitchen, a show kitchen. And now she's rolling it in sugar. And there it goes, ready to be baked with the other ones. On it goes on the fire. There it is now, there it is now. Look how much smaller the one that was being put on there is than the finished one. They obviously grow in the cooking process. It's very warm here, it's really hot here. Hány fok van ott? A... Nem tudom, hogy hívják ezt sütőmöget. Mennyi? Több mint itt. Okay, so got this lovely piping hot chimney cake. And I can't actually take it out because it's so hot, but I'll try to sort of tear off a little piece like that. Honestly, it is, it's, it's incredibly hot. I can barely touch it. Basically, you just sort of peel it off, but you eat it in little, in little pieces, little strips like this. It was hot and it's delicious. On a bit. So here behind me, they're smoking some salmon. This stall has been here every year. 
for the past few years at least. Let's have a look at this. They have a light show starting in a couple of minutes. Most mi készült? Egy bőd, gyakorlatilag egy fibula. Az mi? <gül> Na egy ahhoz hasonló, tehát lesz. De egy nyakék lesz belőle egyébként. Egy nyakék. Csak fibula alapú. Fibula alapú. És hány fokos kell, hogy legyen az a, az a tűz, vagy nem tudom. A tűz? Aha. 3000. Pontosan nem tudom, hogy hány fokos, de... Azt tudom, hogy, a, hogy nekünk 1260 fok kell, azt simán megcsinálja. Aha. Hogyha meg akarnám olvasztani a vasat, ahhoz 1600 fok kell, és azt is megcsinálja. Oké. Okay. Ez egy kuvács termelő szövetkezet. Uh-huh. És hát a tagok mohácstól nyíregyházáig. Tehát, hogy bakonyból is van, Aha. én Dunakanyarból jöttem, Aha. szóval én egész ország. De jó, nagyon jó. Na, gyere Én is nem úgy, hogy csak aha, csak a rodik. Igen. So I've shown you a lot of things at this market and really there is just so much to see so it's just impossible to show it all in such a short video but let's head to the other market that I'd like to show you today which is only a couple of minutes walk away I think lots of European cities are cutting down this year on Christmas lights um, and ice rings are not happening in lots of cities. Uh, in this street, Fashion Street, 
there are plenty of Christmas lights, but um, usually this street also has a lot of market stores. So I'm wondering if the lack of these stores is also a, a cost saving, a saving on costs. But obviously there's tons of lights in this street, so they haven't economized on that. But let's head to the actual market. <laughs> They've got some traditional Hungarian gingerbread type thing. Oh my god, they got something very special uh, that you can come by that very rarely these days. And it's basically a mixture of walnut and sugar and they make like shapes out of it, such as this pig. And this is really traditional and that little New Year's piglet, this thing is called grillage. I actually have to look up the English, can't remember the English word for it. It used to be very traditional. It's had a little bit of a revival actually recently and uh, like traditional weddings used to have like wedding cakes made out of that. Right next to it is the Hungarian Christmas cake, the bagley. So here we are, it's pretty busy. Is this smaller than usual do you think? It looks a bit smaller than it used to be. There used to be kind of like a platform right behind me there where that tree is where those trees are and it used to be like a raised area with loads of food places and bars and it looks I can't really see where the food is it's probably gonna be over there maybe most of these at the minute are stalls of kind of gifts I suppose so far what I've seen is very similar to the other market so behind me here there's a sculpture in the summer it's kind of visible now but it's been covered up and this has been a bit of a contested issue because i think uh um, sort of more like a semi-permanent winter structure i think was planned for this or had has been planned for years but it never sort of it was never completed i guess and there is something now there's something there now the the sculptures inside are wrapped up and there is something around it. I don't know how well you can see that, but inside there, the statue is wrapped up. Let me try to go around the side. Yeah, I think I can show you better from here. So inside there, the statue is wrapped up in like some sort of foil, plastic foil. And that is because it's very cold in hunger in the winter. So they're trying to protect uh, public statues like this, but obviously there's a lot of debate about the best method. I think the Yorkshire pudding. Quite a big store really, lots of big stores. Someone's carrying a language there, which doesn't actually look that bad. Just Something that I'm missing very much here that was here last year, here, very specifically here, was a chestnut stand. And I can't see them. And the lady there last year was really lovely and she was giving us tips about how to roast chestnuts at home. Tips we have um, adopted and worked really well uh, last year. So I was looking forward to chatting to her today. And another thing that was here last year is my favorite chimney cake place, which I can't see anywhere at the moment. And I am very disappointed about that. But let's keep walking around. Maybe we'll find them. <laughs> In previous years, there used to be a stage actually uh, with performers, um, like bands, singers, things like that. Not all day long, but like in the evenings, there would be something usually. And um, that's not there today. The other market we went to earlier today, there used to be an ice rink every year. It looks like that's not happening this year. Um, it certainly seems scaled down. 
Let's get food, yeah? I'll just put it. How amazing is that? I loved his headgear. I think we found the chestnut stall um, in the end. It's just here behind me. I think it's 2,000 forints for five, and it comes in these bags. It is pretty cool. It is quite pricey, I say. I think we might have to pass on that today. That's five chestnuts for basically five euros. So imagine a bucket of yeah. euro coins. I think in previous years they used to be more popular. Um, I think that's probably just a little bit too expensive for Hungary, to be honest. I normally would have bought a little packet of them, but I haven't today. I wonder if I will at all this season. I think I'll just make it at home actually. So here we have a very traditional Hungarian Christmas candies or Christmas sweets, uh, which are called Salon Tsukor. And they come in different flavors and they're wrapped in this beautiful little packaging, kind of like a colorful foil, a golden foil or something like that. And there will be a little sweet, a little candy inside that which is covered in chocolate. You can see a picture here. And inside that there's different flavors. And it looks like that. And this is what we traditionally put on our Christmas tree. enjoyed this brief tour of this Hungarian Christmas market. Let me know what Christmas markets are like in your city and let me know if you've been to a Hungarian Christmas market before. How did these two compare? And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!